Unit 4. Develop and extend SAP Fiori app for SAP Business One with Service Layer. Part 3. SAP Fiori app connecting to Service Layer via client side JavaScript. At the end of this session, you will be able to explain how to call Service Layer via client side JavaScript jQuery and how to set up and run the sample Fiori app using client side JavaScript. In last session, we have learned how to call service layer using the server side JavaScript. But here, we are, not, we are using the client side JavaScript, which is totally different directly to calling service layer. Here are the steps how to set up the sample theory app using the jQuery. Step zero, we're going to import the sample theory app with the SAP HANA lifecycle management. I have introduced this tool uh, in last session part two. We have you in the exercise folder, you will be able to find the sample theory app for the client side JavaScript delivery unit um, as, as this. Let's import it using the lifecycle management tool. You can open the lifecycle management tool using the URL here and then navigate to delivery. And now we are going to import the delivery unit for the client side JavaScript sample app. Confirm the import. Import finished. Let's go back to the editor. As a result, you can find we have a, a massive Fiori app, client side JavaScript has been put. Let's have a look at the code structure. Basically, it's very um, similar to the, the code structure, very similar to the uh, part two, uh, Fiori app using the client, a, serv a service side JavaScript. The entry point is still the login.html. In the login.html, um, it's going to make a call, make a call to the service layer, and the connect to SL with the given username, password, and company DB. And this function is uh, located in the JS and uh, called SL the JS. And whatever the uh, call to the service layer is located in this call SL the JS. The only difference from the this uh, sampled and then the last uh, Fiori S sample using server side JavaScript is in, in here we're going to call to the service layer directly using the Ajax. Uh, remember in last uh, last uh, session uh, the Fiori app um, the client side is calling to the server side JavaScript first and the server side JavaScript calling service layer uh, as a proxy here. And there was something, uh, the next step we, we may need to do is we need to replace the SL server uh, with the exact um, SL server you're having. We're going to do that in a few minutes. And here was the function to connect to the service layer. As you can see here, you're going to make a post AJAX call uh, to the login uh, for the service layer straight away. And then uh, if succeed, um, basically here we don't have to worry about the session, uh, have to worry about the session ID, because uh, when the service layer return, it will really return the set cookie information, and the browser will take care about the uh, the cookie set the cookie for the foreign uh, call to the service layer. If it succeed, and then we will navigate to the to the main page, index the XML. In this case, index.xdmo uh, it's almost the same as the last last one. You also loading the uh, core SLGS, and the script is want to run here is to want to get the uh, open sales orders. And uh, get orders is a, a function uh, inside the code SLS. Here you have the uh, function for the get orders and then as you can see here we're going to get the uh, assessing to the uh, get the order from service layer uh, and then filter by the document status equal to uh, old so that means we want to get the open sales order and then it only 
retain um, the selected field uh, we have defined uh, in the uh, in here. We just only this field is only used to display in the field app, so we'll be good uh, to limit uh, the result set return from the sub layer uh, to the client side for the better uh, for the better performance. So you also have the function cancel sales order as you can see cancel the selected sales order and then I make a post to the cancel uh, endpoint here and as well as the close as well. In the index.xml mode, um, let's have a look at the view. You have a, a quantum, a placeholder quantum, and the quantum will be loaded uh, in for the for the main. Let's have a look at the views. The views here is almost the same uh, in the last exercise. Uh, let's look at the master view and the controller as well. In the in the master view, uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, we have a list item. We have list item, and for each of the ob object list item object, uh, it's using the it's bounding the title and name, title of the car name and number of the total. Uh, in this case, and for the data bounding, uh, for the data bounding, the data bounding it's done in the controller. So on the in the one init init function, so you will get uh, the list item uh, from the view, and you create a new data new JSON data model, and you bound the data with the item JSON data, which is this one is uh, is the global variable, a global variable defined in the global JS, and it catch uh, it it catch the uh, the result uh, when we get the sales order from the uh, service layer. Is defined in the global the JS here. Okay, and then the same for the uh, for the uh, detail view uh, controller as well. For the detail view, um, for the object header, it's bounding with car code and doc total. For the line detail, it's bounding with document lines as well. And then the in the controller, uh, in the on each in this function, you also create the JSON data model. And it's bounding the whole view with this uh, model uh, in this case. Okay, so that was the uh, code structure uh, for the. Then now let's uh, let's look at the uh, the following step. So the following step um, is we're going to uh, because the service layer uh, require um, HTTPS connection. So in order to um, establish the secure. Uh, SSO connection to the service layer. Uh, we will need to have the um, certificate of service layer installed uh, in the client side. So the following step is teach you how to export the certificate, um, how to install the certificate um, here, uh, step by step. Now let's do it uh, together here. You can. Uh, um, you can open the browser using the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Now I'm going to show you in the Google Chrome. I I tried to assessing uh, my service layer uh, menu and API reference with the host uh, and also fifty thousand here, and then again I get a kind of an unsecure uh, connection a warning just because I don't have uh, the the certificate installed in my client side. So what I'm going to do is I want to export this certificate and install in the my client machine here. So to do so in the and then go to the tab uh, security and you'll be able to uh, have a view certificate uh, option here. Let's view the certificate. So this is the certificate uh, for my service layer, and this is the common name. Um, actually, this is the certificate. Uh, for for my SL server, and to export the certificate, just go details and click code to copy to file and click next and leaving the CER and give the file uh, file name and save it. And as a result, we have the certificate export. All right. You also can do that uh, with the Internet Explorer. 
and you just when you are assessing the same URL for the service layer, and then you may get some kind of a warning here, and then you can click the security report, and you can be able to find the uh, view certificate the same here, and here we're going to install Streetweed. And now let's going back to the here to install the certificate. Simply just double click, and then select install certificate, and then store location as local machine, and then. And place to the place the certificate under the trust root certificate authorities and click finish and as a result we have the class um, uh, we have the uh, service layer certificate installed in my uh, cloud machine and now the next thing uh, the next thing uh, we are going to do is now uh, we will uh, replace um, the the placeholder for the SL server using the uh, our service layer. In this case, um, the service layer server host here must be exact the same as the field issue two in the certificate. Otherwise, you uh, if we, if if this one is a uh, it's a server name of service layer, and then if you're using uh, IP address, you mean can you mean can um, also get the security warning as well because this certificate is, is issued to uh, this server, this common name. Okay, so we are going to use this one. All right, that's going back to the uh, developer in the beginning. We're going to replace this one with mine. All right. And then the next thing, uh, the next one, what we're going to do um, it's we will need to enable the course uh, in the service layer. If you don't in enable the uh, course, uh, the course stands for the clause uh, origin resource sharing. It's related to the uh, clause domain uh, here uh, because the, the Fiori app is hosted in the exchanging. And while the we're calling from the exchanging to the service layer, so it's cross the difference domain uh, here. Even though to, so to doing uh, to enable the course, uh, you maybe follow the uh, the instruction um, this block. Uh, how to enable the uh, the course here? There's a two two few you need to be you need be you need to be enabled in the configuration of uh, service layer. And the first one is enable the course as true, and then the other one is you need to put the origin. So here we're going to put the uh, the HANA exchanging uh, uh, and the port uh, here because this is the origin uh, for uh, trigger to the code of the service layer. So um, you can do in that um, by opening your put it or your terminal session, and then you need to go to the uh, go to the uh, Folder of configuration folder of service layer. Um, if you show it, and then you'll be able to find there was a b1s.conf, and then you can, uh, you will need to uh, modify this as the instruction inside the uh, inside the inside the block. So first, you need to make this course enable as true, and secondly, you will need to set the allow origin. For my case, uh, I may. This is my IP for my exchanging and the pool for my exchanging as well. I maybe try to run my uh, my my HANA my Fiori app uh, uh, using this URL, uh, something using the URL uh, like this. We I'm going to run it here, so I would like to put this one. Say uh, it's allowed uh, for the uh, original. And as well as I also put the uh, if I want to run the Fiori app using the my server name so I also put the uh, one with the server name as well so I having two port one is for HTTP the other is for the HTTPS here okay once I've done that and then you can uh, you can uh, you can um, um, save uh, you can write and click on that and then you and then you after that you will need to restart You need to start the service layer using the uh, th using this command, and then you should be able to run the Fiori app um, here. 
just one important note. Um, we you will need to use in the Internet Explorer to run this Fiori app. Um, there are some uh, some issue with the Google Chrome and Safari. Uh, the issue with the Google Chrome is because with the latest uh, Google Chrome one point uh, since fifty eight or fifty six, uh, Google Chrome will not accept the uh, the TSL one point zero uh, version um, anymore for the certificate. Uh, but unfortunately, the service layer is using the DSO 1.0 at the moment as of a B1H 9.2 patch 8. Okay, and let's test it with the Google Chrome. And through the testing, you can open the developer tool um, here and then you can check it out. Okay, let's give it a go. So now our Fury app is working fine. If you want to, that's conclude um, the end of the, uh, the session. And now you should be able to have your the Fiori app uh, using the client-side JavaScript to run on your environment.